If you were a longtime CAD user, you remember the pains of trying to share a file with someone. All you wanted them to do was view the file to make sure the design met the requirements. Unfortunately, I remember spending more time trying to help someone with zero computer skills download and install a viewer, which never went smoothly. In this week's quick tip, I will show how to share a file with someone not invited to your Fusion 360 project. I found this sweet particle photon board in the Fusion 360 gallery, which was created by Aaron Rubin. I was stoked to see someone modeled this in Fusion 360, and I wanted to share this with one of the guys from Particle. From within Fusion 360, we can go to File, then Share, then Share Public Link. Now Fusion 360 will generate a link for us to share externally. In this menu, we also have the option to allow others to download the design and password protect the link, just in case this is some top secret info. Now let's paste this link into a browser. Since I chose the password protect the link, I have to input the password, then I am shoved into a 3D viewer in a web browser. We didn't have to install anything, and there is no file compatibility issues. First, let's examine the assembly tree. We can see which components are in the assembly, and selecting that will isolate that component. Next, if we created any post processes in Fusion 360, such as a simulation, we can also view the results in this viewer. Some people might really want to interrogate this design, so we have the ability to create section views, exploded views, and even view the component properties, all without ever opening a CAD system. Finally, when working with suppliers, they seem to always want a different file type than what was sent. Instead, we give them the option to download the file in their preferred format. Now, the link is live, so if I create another version in Fusion 360, the customer will have to click the link again, and they will be viewing the latest version of my design. Sometimes you may want to stop sharing this file though. Here are a couple tricks. I could either change the password, or I could turn off the link totally. This allows one more level of control. If I send a customer a CAD file, there is really no way to ensure it's not being shared anymore. Now these links aren't only generated for Fusion 360, they can also be generated and shared from A360. In this case, I uploaded this SOLIDWORKS assembly into A360, which maintained all the parent-child relationships. Now, I could share this CAD file, which was created in a completely different CAD tool using the same technology in a web browser. This even gives the customer the option to download the native SOLIDWORKS data, which will have the part and assembly files. Yes, you heard it, the share link will work on any data you can upload to A360. And that's over a hundred different file formats. Well, that's the quick tip for today. Now go start sharing your data with everyone you know.